I'll try to dream up anything. I, I like using antler a lot, I guess, elk antler and deer antler on, and making certain projects, and especially knives. I make knife handles, so I, I don't forge my own knives, but I, I make the handles for them. Anything else, it's just uh, it's my epoxy work. I just kind of started that here about three years ago or so, and I'm really starting to get into it now, different ideas and it's, it's, it's a unique project. Okay, well, what I start with here is uh, I use this colorant here and uh, you put in two-part epoxy. I got half of this prepped already, so you put in, I got marks on my cup there. Pour it and you try to get it so it's kind of even all the way around. never know what it's going to look like, you know. It, it, uh, <laughs> you keep coming back, you know, and looking at it and it keeps changing. And that's basically all you do. I got into woodworking in ninth grade in, in uh, high school. In twelfth grade, I did my first major project, uh, the grandfather clock. I guess as far as how many years I've been woodworking, I, oh boy, I started when I was 16, and then now I'm 66, so that's 50 years, I guess. <laughs> I make clocks or just a just a picture display of this um, electrolyte wood burning it's called where it really burns and it, you know it looks like a tree almost it really it's much quicker this this will go up in in about oh, 10 seconds and this will take probably three minutes it, it really varies but I actually like this look a little better than I don't know. <laughs> They're both pretty cool, but you know, and it, it, this this is going up, you know, and this then once they touch, then you gotta quit it because it'll burn out your transformer. Then it's shortened out, and it's and it really burns deep. So you can kind of control where you want to go by wetting it down, you know, to stop it, you know, so it won't go any further off the edge or whatever, you know. So yeah, it's 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 fun. Any type of wood I, I'll use, but I, I use a lot of exotic woods. I, there's a friend of mine, he's a boyer, he makes these longbows, 
and he'll save all his scraps, his cutouts from the bow and everything, and he'll save garbage cans of scraps for me, and then I take them scraps and use it for other projects. And it, it's, it's a lot of different exotic woods that it's pretty cool to use. I prefer living in the country. I, I did live in town when I was a child, I guess. But once I graduated and I moved, actually I moved up north of uh, Sunberg here, into a house that didn't have electricity or anything. I lived there for three years, just using kerosene lamps and whatever. So that was kind of a unique experience to have that. As far as you know, hunting and being outdoors, I've been doing that ever since, I guess, a teenager. A lot of bow hunting and go out uh, rifle hunting a little bit and fishing a lot. Do that quite often. Yeah, I guess that's been part of my life. The boxes I make usually make the box, you know, dovetail it and make a fancy box and then the lids I usually really incorporate the, the herringbone style top, you know, different different layers of woods, exotic woods and oak and walnut, different colors, you know, so you can get a variety of uh, the herringbone look. What I like about woodworking is just, just the what you can come up with, you know. I, sometimes I go to bed at night and I start thinking of what I could possibly make, you know. And <laughs> it's just the combination of the uniqueness of it and the different colors of wood and the grain and that type of thing. It's just a unique item to work with. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies. Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota. On the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram, online at 96.7cram.com.